Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. So you would have seen in the last episode, I did the rear quarter chop on the GQ here. Um, that was a bit of fun, a bit of a learning curve. So I think the next step in this process of the GQ build is down here. I've got all these uh, bits and pieces. I've got a rear tire, swing away rear bar kit to suit the quarter chop and then just over there I've got um, a slider kit that's a swing away over there all from rag customs yeah Jared local bloke he um, works just behind Mitt's alloy but he's going out on his own Jared that owns rag customs really cool make he makes all these um, DIY kits so it's a, he does all the bending and notching and everything gives you all the parts to do you know your sliders and your rear bar i mean i don't have the means in the shed here i don't have notches and plasma cutters and things like that so it's awesome um, that people like this are making these bits and pieces so people like myself can have a crack because i love tinkering and love challenging myself this just makes it a little bit easier so with these kits you just buy them online yeah so jared's website is ragcustoms.shop um, but what I'll do is I'll link it in the description below and you know if you go on that link and you use the code word as ventures you get 10% off which is pretty cool as well so save you a bit of cash there and yeah helps Jared out because this is a really cool business and I'm working with him um, just to make some cool content um, yeah and show his awesome products so I don't know I guess we better stop muck mucking around and um, rip into this. Should be a good little weekend. But yeah, see how we go. Paint it all up. And um, I've still got to do some bits. I've got to paint up the quarter panel chop that I did. Anyway, I'm going to wrap to coat that, I think. And then wrap to all this as well. So I don't know. Let's rip in. See how we go. messed up a little bit. I um forgot to press record. <laughs> that happens, but got the infill panel in there. Rag customs. Luckily I didn't put it back to front. That would have been a mess up. But it's actually starting to look like something now. It looks pretty sick just as it is. With Jared's kits as well you can get this bar just as it is um, without the swingaways. So if you don't want it or you could buy the swingaways later, you know. It's all those little options. I might actually put a few more welds through here just to take that bounce out of it. Finally getting somewhere. Actually, um, looks awesome like that, just with the rear bar. It's pretty sick. Next um, thing to do. Stub axles. So I've got two stub axles, one for a jerry can holder and one for the swing weight tire carrier. I marked it out and punched it because when I put on these top plates, just didn't want to um, have to worry about where I needed to punch it, but they'll get drilled into there. Um, and then I'll hang around, I'll space it up about 10 mil. And then I'll cut that bottom bit off that's hanging down below. Just make it nice and I don't know, I might chamfer it to match and then weld it all in. That's a 35mm hole for those to go through. So I've got a hole saw there. I'll draw these two holes and get the stub axles in. It's actually sick. Mind you, I'm not the greatest welder, but if you look from back here, <laughs> looks bloody awesome. <laughs> So 
seen that stub axles on this side now. I think I might, while I'm around this side, just keep it going and do this uh, top tube. Tack that in place and then get this bottom section done and then jump onto the other side. Not a snap crack on pop on the ground. Thought it'd be easier just to weld that arm bracing on the floor, nice and flat. Quite something. This is a little sick. Come on, just letting it cool down a little bit. And I'm going to take the whole bar off and uh, get these infill panels in for the, under the quarter chop in here. And then I'll just do up, do um, some extra bit of welding on the inside where it's a bit harder to get to. I think that's me for the day. Pretty happy with how it's going. Tomorrow, get these swingaways done. And then Sunday, maybe I'm done. Got some end caps to put on. Could be a bit of fun. I mean, some of my worlds are really good. <laughs> some of my worlds are a bit questionable. But as long as I've got the good penno, I'm sure if there's any, um, boilies on here they can give me some pointers I'm uh, pretty much self-taught so I think I'm doing all right and I think from back here sort of all my angles and everything was all looking pretty much bang on so I'm happy with that I mean once you once it's all painted up put a little mint anyway I'll see you tomorrow Good morning, welcome back to, I don't know, day two, day three, something like that. I just uh, tacked in that infill panel there onto the underside of that tube. And just going to tack in infill panel and then put on these four end caps, weld all that up and then get onto these uh, swingaways. Big day today, big day. I wanna try get the majority of those swing away is done today so I can do what I need to do tomorrow and then paint her up, put it back on. Happy days. So let's get straight into it. Let's not muck around. Let's probably get it done. Bar is done. A fair bit of work in these things actually. It's a bit, a bit of a mission to get this back onto the, the car itself so I can do these swingaways. CB! You've come at the right time. Oh, and you got one hand. What have you done? CB's come at the right time, everyone. This is Zach, one of the young fellas from work. Well, I guess you can have this side <laughs> and I'll take that side. Who's that, Mumsy? Yeah. Oh, you're not allowed to drive. <laughs> that sucks. Right, yeah, I'm putting this bloody thing on. Welds on the other hand. Look at, no, look at this <laughs> weld, not any of the other welds. Some of them are good. Some of them, let's see, I'm not a trained professional, what do you mate? 
Fuck from the shrine It's actually looking mint. Got the stub axles and the those things on. What do you call those, Zach? Uh, spinny things. Spinny things. The bottom arm for both the, both sides. I'll um, space those up, tack those on, pull those in, and then that's the tire carrier, and then all the bits and pieces for the dual jerry can holder, which I probably won't run that all the time, so I can just take that off. Zach's an apprentice, oily at work. Sheedy. Sheedy. He's pretty good on the TIG, but not that good on the MIG. <laughs> I'll lose better. <laughs> I said you can come over and learn some lessons, but he might teach me anything or two. <laughs> um, Righty, yeah, let's get into it, eh? So it's Sunday morning-ish. Been out for breakfast and all that. And sort of family thing this morning. But I thought I'd rip in. I didn't film some of the, because a lot of it's just massive welds and I could make a 45 minute video of me just welding. So, tire carrier is officially done. I've got a 35 inch tire out here. I might just throw it on and see how it looks. <laughs> How good does that look? <laughs> One more. Cheers. Tell you what, that's looking bloody awesome. Oh, tell you what. It's been a big old few days. But this has come up mint. I guess the only thing to do now is um well, I've got a couple of struts to put in. I'm not gonna bore you with that. And um gotta paint it, but for now, I think I'm all done. It's been a huge bloody few days like I said it's all come up mint I'm absolutely pumped with how this is looking I feel a good sense of a compliment uh, 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 accomplishment when I'm yeah I do these things I'm, I mean I'm not the greatest welder but some of these welds on here are bloody good but like I said in the start of the video I'm just self-taught and I just enjoy having a crack at doing these things myself and it's pretty cool that this company is like Rag Customs here, yeah, um, doing these sort of DIY kits so you can take out a lot of the hard work with bending and things like that because people don't have the, you know, the means or the space in their sheds to have these sorts of tools. 
benders and big notches and stuff like that. But uh, I'll put all the link in the description to Jared's shop, Rag Customs. And um, if you use the code as ventures at the checkout, you get 10% off the kits as well, which is pretty sick. So yeah, cheers to that. I'm gonna leave everyone here. The next time you see this, it'll all be painted up. Let me know what you think. Give me some tips if you got any. I'm always open to constructive criticism. <laughs> but cheers guys, um, thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe, all that jazz. And I guess I'll see you in the next one. Cheers. Mm.